See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Henry, obviously um, rested last week, presumably raring to go now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my body was a bit sore after a, a string of games um, and uh, no, I'm delighted to be back in the mix this week. Have you actually played more than you thought you would so far? I, th I think so, because um, obviously when you come to a club like Gloucester and the likes of Henry Trinder and um, in my position as well as the back three players, you know, they're really high quality and, you know, at the start of the season I wanted to pitch myself against these guys and test myself, but, um, you know, it's unfortunate for Henry Trinder to, to be out, but it does give me an opportunity and, and, and in that sense I'm happy. Obviously, you signed, we thought, predominantly as a wing, so you, you've been playing at outside centre. You must have played a, a little bit there to be sort of comfortable enough to have just slotted in. Yeah, I mean, um, I've had a um, a bit of a mixed match sort of um, development within terms of positioning. Played a bit at full back on the wings, like you say, and at centre. And um, I think I started, well, I started my centre, my career as centre. Um, and then just sort of slotted elsewhere, but um, I'm pretty happy with where I'm playing at the moment. I suppose most, most youngsters probably move about a little bit as they're coming up through the ranks, but that just must really help you when you, know, you could be asked to play well, any one of a number of, what, like four or five positions? Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, coaches will, will like you if you've got a few strings to your bow, and if I can offer this, this, this squad um, more than one thing, then um, I'd be happy to do so, you know, so it's hopefully it'll be beneficial in your life. Oh, it's, it's a tough question, really. Um, obviously, it's a sort of different atmosphere, um, especially this weekend going away to France. Um, be a new challenge. Um, but, you know, French French teams operate slightly differently and. And this this weekend, they, the French team was really are proud about defending the home patch, you know. So, so it's going to be a it's going to be a tough task. But the one thing with French teams, if you can compete with them physically, especially up front, there does seem to be space out wide. And you look at the success that Charlie Sharples had, then you know, sort of the flying backs always have got a chance, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, we've been we've been watching a bit of uh, video on Ajax for the weekend and. And they're a strong team, you know, just um, the bottom of the top four team, but they play some impressive stuff and they've been co competing with the likes of Toulon in, in some of the top 14 fixtures. So um, uh, there's opportunities on the pitch and out wide, like you say, but uh, we'll just have to focus on us so far and um, make sure we're doing the right thing to make sure that happens.